Hey Billy Vamp here, and I'm going on a safari. Actually, I'm going on a super animal safari. Uh, these are cards that you get from Countdown, and they are, they're all about animals, right? <coughs> Sorry, I got a cold. Um, you buy these cards from Countdown, and um, each card has got an animal on it, and uh, you can buy these little boxes from Countdown for like eight dollars and you swipe your card through it and it plays the sound that the animal makes um, which is very informative because you know I for one like to know what noises animals make um, but I don't like to spend a lot of money so uh, what I thought I could do is um, well these cards they're only bar they've only got barcodes on them there's no sounds on these cards the box has all of the sounds programmed into it They've only got a barcode on this, so if I can make forgeries of the barcode, I could hear the sounds from this little box. So I got to work and I worked out how to make these uh, barcodes from a given card number, which is quite straightforward really. There's the number 41 on here, right? This is the number 41 in binary, with what they call a, a checksum added to it, which is a, uh, a uh, well, it's not very interesting. Um, so, I made a program to print off in, uh, in sequence every possible barcode. Um, I didn't really know how to get all the bits in there, so there's a couple of variants for every card, and uh, you know, there's like six or seven pages worth, and there's, so there's like 200 odd barcodes. And uh, it took a lot, it's taken me a long time to sway through and listen to all of my favorite animal noises. And um, I knew there'd be an easy way, and that way is to butcher into the circuit of the thing itself. Um, so that's what I've done. I have got, if you follow me, an Arduino microcontroller, which is basically a little computer. And I've hacked off the, uh, the case for this thingy, and uh, normally you would swipe your card down here. And when you do that, it smushes on a little physical switch there turns on an infrared LED, or like a light, and uh, it's got an infrared sensor here. And as you swipe your card through, the differences between dark and light on here get read by the sensor here, and the chip inside translates that into binary, and it looks up the right sound and plays the sound. Now, so to get it to play any sound that I like, I would have to somehow connect the switch and get this little sensor here to see pulses of light and dark infrared light. So what I've got is I've got an Arduino here connecting to a relay which shorts out the switch and in time turns on an infrared LED which is pointing right at the sensor. So if you'll excuse me I will plug it in and let's see how well it works. Get in there. There we are. Now we point you at there. Now I don't know what noise that is. I think that's a, I think that's a lion actually. Or is that a lion? I don't really know. I'm pretty sure that's like a kind of bird. Either way, I've got a lot of animal noises to listen to, so uh, I'm getting out of here. I'm Pepperly Vamp, and. Uh, that's uh, electronics.